Troy Bridges has that game day forecast for you. Oh, it's going to be a you. perfect couple of days. If you're making weekend plans, Tailgating go right plans. ahead. Yeah, early in the day, 3, 4 o'clock, lots of sunshine, temperatures near 90 with no rain chances today or tomorrow. We will see a slight chance on Sunday, but not a washout even on Sunday. Go ahead with your plans. Now, because the weather is going to turn out to be so nice, like we've seen over the past couple of days, a lot of folks may want to go to the beach. Now, there will be a few issues at the beaches. We'll see seas about 3 feet for boaters, which isn't a huge problem. That could increase just a bit heading into the end of the weekend and the start of next week. But the real issue again will be the rip currents. Last weekend in the high category, likely this weekend staying in the moderate category. Water temperature 80 degrees, the air temperature along the coast, along many of our beaches in the upper 80s. So some comfortable air. Now a little bit of humidity is at the surface. We'll notice that, but some drier air in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, as well as high pressure sinking on top of us, leading to fairly low rain chances for some time, even into next week. And so we're concerned about the fire danger. This is the fire danger for today, and it could get worse in the coming days with no measurable rain in the forecast. Most of this month has been a dry month through September. So look at this. The yellow is the moderate category for the fire danger. That is every county in central Florida except Osceola, but we could see that change for Osceola as we head into the next couple of days with again not much rain until even Sunday Sunday again a 20% chance there's Karen still watching this but look at it. it looks like a potato just a blob out there as we show you the track this is the official track as of 11 o'clock this morning winds still at 40 miles per hour way out in the open Atlantic likely to weaken to an area of low pressure and not move anywhere near land now this storm still a major category 4 hurricane Lorenzo with winds at 145 miles per hour also likely to stay out to sea and not impact land, which is some very good news considering just how strong that storm is. Look at the temperatures now at the noon hour. We're at 91 in Orlando, 87 at the Villages. It's 84 at Daytona Beach, 86 in Melbourne, 85 degrees at Cape Canaveral, 89 is the temperature right now in Ocala. You could add a couple of degrees to these temperatures when you talk about that low level moisture in the form of some humidity, but again, fairly dry air in place helping us not to feel closer to the triple digits. Here's a look, though, at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Dell Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Look at the sunny skies. A few of those high, thin, cirrus clouds that the sun filters right through. Getting up to 90 for the high today, which is the average for this time of year. Notice no rain chances in the forecast. Now, I'm going to show you the model data in just a little bit. It'll try to show a couple of coastal showers moving fairly quickly, but for the most part, even the coast will be dry into the next couple of days. Still 79 at 9 o'clock tonight. We're at 77 by 11. So making plans on this Friday. Friday, go right ahead. Rain will not be a factor and temperatures not all that bad. As we take you into the clouds and rain forecast, this is the model data showing white to indicate some cloud cover. Green would indicate rain. You don't see much in the way of cloud cover taking you into tonight, but one or two green dots trying to enter the picture here along the coast of Brevard later tonight. I don't think that's going to come to happen because we'll all be dry with that high pressure sinking on top of us. Where you live by 7 tomorrow morning, some 60s. Ocala at 68. Many of us in the 70s, 72 in Orlando. Let's get results with your seven day forecast as we take you into the weekend with rain chances very low at 20%. Bridget on your Sunday, 20% Monday highs in the 80s across the board with morning lows in the low 70s.